Hi, Sagittarius. <clears throat> of course, on the day of Venus, we talk about love. And Sag, I asked for this weekend, but I have to say that I'm seeing a lot of eclipse energy here. <laughs> the tower. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's like so stressful, right, Saj? And the love readings are always so interesting for you. Every time I do a love reading, like it's almost like it feels like it goes from one extreme to the other. I don't know. It's so um really interesting for me, Saj, and hopefully it will be interesting for you as well, Sagittarius. So, I do feel, oh, by the by, all is well, and um, if you're looking for personals, that information is in the description box. Sagittarius, yes, we need our selenite today, Sag. Because <laughs> this shiznit, let's, let's, let's dive in. Remember that every message is not for you and you always have free will absolutely Sagittarius so let's do this Sag so underneath the deck was oath of the moon vows of love and it's with the tower and the hermit it feels like someone has been holding back their feelings for you really mulling over it and such I feel like they honestly have been trying to figure things out you know that's you know the the hermit is always you know is always wise you know and always looking within and I feel like this person's in some sort of combustion energy side it's like they can't hold back anymore now being how this is underneath the deck and the oath of the moon with the tower I really, this really feels like um, eclipse energy. And I can tell you it really feels like Aries energy as well. Not necessarily that this is an Aries, uh, but, you know, that this energy, it feels like, I don't know what happens to this person, but, you know, there's a lot of aggressive energy here. So, so all right let's dive into this person so they're declaring their love Sag. okay this is someone who has been thinking about this a lot and this and this is actually very unexpected to you okay that because this is your tower like this is unexpected and i feel like i i don't know what's happening with this person but there's, it seems as if there's something major happening with them. And so they can no longer withhold their love from you, Sag. So let's take a little bit of a look at this person and their actions, Sagittarius. Let's do this. Single parent. Um, this person has a lot of responsibilities. They may be a single parent. Uh, take that as that resonates, or you might be, but I feel like this is this person. They have a lot of responsibilities. You could be getting a phone call from them. Um, and it's very interesting because I don't know, it feels like in this phone call, this person isn't, they're revealing something to you. And I feel like this person acted with you very much like they, you know, overly valued their independence, right? Non-committal. And with Mask being here, they may have shown you that, but that wasn't who they really are. So there is an energy of a mask falling off. And how you feel is like... Because this person's coming in with this big action, this aggressive love, and you're here, like, right here, Sag. You are, like, who the heck are you? Shapeshifter is here. 
I'm sorry, apology and truth. Like, I feel, so first of all, when you, for anyone who may be cross-watching, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you have to be transparent. That is, like, if you hold things back or act like something you're not, we are very turned off. And this person clearly did that. Like, like they really did. They, they probably said something at the time. I do feel like you know this person. I'm not sure that you've had a relationship with them, though. But I feel like this person, you know, acted like they, they had to keep their independence and, you know, very non-committal. They have a lot of responsibilities, right? And all that's falling away. And you're here, like, um, you're in your feelings, this feels like shapeshifter energy. It's like, well, who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? So how about you apologize and be honest with me? Like, who the heck are you? You know, I feel like that's how you're feeling. I don't feel like you're angry, but I feel like you feel as if you deserve honesty and you deserve an apology for because they misled you in a way. They made you think that they were non-committal, but that wasn't the issue. The issue was not about, it was and it wasn't. I feel like this person has had a, a lot of painful relationships and that is central to things for them. You know, it's like it, King of Wands reversed or with judgment reversed. This person... Kind of was low vibrational. You know. And now they're coming in. With all the love. When they couldn't. You know. It, it just feels like they were very indecisive. Very. Maybe even player-ish in their energy. Untrustworthy. And. You know. It could be that they lack confidence maybe even weren't, didn't treat you well, you know, but, and now, now they want love. <laughs> it's, it feels like this person showed up in a lot of push and pull energy, but, you know, look, this person's coming in, they're chasing now. Let me just say that they're chasing or they will be, you know, but this person really had to heal from <clears throat> how they view relationships. You know, two of cups with the ten of swords. I mean, it could be that they had to end another relationship. That's that's possible. But I actually feel a lot of the times the ten of swords is the pain we carry. And they had pain when it came to relationships. They maybe even saw relationships as painful. Which is not a good flow. Not at all. Um, and so, you know, there is this sense that they may have ended things with you at one point. And now, now comes their confession. You know, which was interesting. Their confession's interesting. Because when I first saw the Ten of Pentacles, I thought, oh, maybe this person was in another relationship, right? No. Such. They, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, they want things to work between you. They want to build something lasting with you. And that could be marriage, Sag, because when I asked for the Ten of Pentacles, I got the Queen of Wands, right? And what's interesting to me is that they had the, the chance for this, right? This person had the chance to be with you. Um, but on some level, they were very attached to a past narrative of themselves. And <laughs> I don't know, Saj, but now they're saying, you know, I love you. I want to be with you. And I didn't just come to this decision willy-nilly, Saj. 
This is what they're saying. Because they seeking help is here. And with justice and the Queen of Cups, this person has been learning how to deal with their emotions, learning to, to deal with how they feel, creating balance in their life. Um, and they're, they feel as if they're ready now. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. Oh, boy. The Hangman. The Hierophant. <laughs> they want to get together and talk about it. Um, talk about what they've learned. Uh, talk about, and they want you to surrender. <laughs> they do. The moon, this person had a lot of fears. Queen of Pentacles, that came from an ex. The Lovers. And the three of wands like it does feel like this person either had some mother issues or you know fears because of an ex um but you know they're making the decision to choose love to choose love and with the three of wands it's saying they want you in their future ace of swords Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Swords. I mean, I feel like this person's telling you that they've dealt with their stuff. They, they've done a lot of work on themselves, and they want they want to come together with you. Nine of Swords, King of Swords, female. It's a tough low. Four of Wands and the Empress. Oh my goodness. They have fears. Um, they don't know how this is going to go. Like, uh, like they don't know if it's going to go towards, you know, the King of Swords female is a, is a very good listener. They know that you will listen or they hope that you will listen. But they don't know if, like, you're going to come, like, if you're going to come at it from a loving space or from a, um, you know, King of Swords kind of flow, you know, which is cold or, or whatever. Oh, Ten of Cups. Jeez Louise. Knight of Swords, the High Priestess. They really believe in their heart of hearts that you are the one for them. And they're very hopeful, Sag. They are very hopeful. <laughs> okay, well, that, wow. <laughs> wow, Sagittarius. So I would definitely expect to... Um, Get a phone call. It doesn't even feel like a message. It feels like a phone call. And, you know, I feel like you are, you are guarded, definitely. Uh, maybe even being a little tough, right? It's a, it's, and I feel like it comes from a place of who the heck are you? Taking a chance is here. Addiction. Interesting. No contact and twin flame. It's like you, I mean, this connection was, became unhealthy. And I feel like that, yeah, this was a ghoster. They may have had something to do with music or you very much bonded over music. Um, but you never... You never, there was never an ending, like an official ending between you and this person. I mean, there's still love there. But at, at one point, it just became very codependent. And, you know, I don't know who initiated the no contact exactly. 
It kind of feels like you both did. You know, this person may have ghosted you, but you, you in turn decided that not having anything to do with them was a good idea because you felt as if this just wasn't healthy for you. Just wasn't healthy for you, Sagittarius. Okay, well, I will definitely do an extend it for this to see what their next actions are. You know, where you go from there. The future energy. So, let us just get one of these, some of these cards for you. <clears throat> the soul connections. What can you tell Sagittarius about this connection? Because so far as I see, it just feels like the conversation. But I will do a possible outcome as well. Sagittarius. Mercury retrograde. Hello. <laughs> Hasn't even started yet. So give me a message for Sagittarius in this connection. Sagittarius. Oh, you have a telepathic connection. So you might be feeling this person. That's too much. Anything else? 11, 11. If you start seeing 11, 11 a lot, and I do really feel like it has something to do with the eclipse energy, um, that can really give you a hint that this person is going to contact you. Anything else for this? Okay, obstacles came out sideways. <laughs> so, you know, there may be things really to overcome with this person. But, I mean, it does feel as if it's possible that you make a little headway on the problems, yin-yang. Well, you see a lot of yourself in each other. Oh, this is a past life partner. And you still have feelings for them. Well, I'm going. Sagittarius. Let us see what we can see about a possible outcome here. Possible outcome for this connection, future energy. Where is this leading Sagittarius? Where is this leading Sagittarius? Where is this leading Sagittarius? Okay, Sag. Ten of Wands, okay. Where is this leading Sagittarius? King of Pentacles, female. Might be working things out. Yeah, a lot of talking. So it feels all they're showing me right now about this is that, you know, there is an opportunity here to work things out. And these may have been things that weighed heavily. And I feel, you know what, Ace of Pentacles, it feels like you're getting some answers for sure. Finding out why things happened. Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. Here, here's the Ten of Cups again. So it definitely, there's a 10-10 moment and the Ten of Wands moving into the Ten of Cups kind of says something about a turnaround. There's a lot of honesty, a lot of working things out. 
and and basically bringing peace and stability here over things that have been heavy you know the nine the nine of swords are the things that have been weighing on your mind right you're getting answers here and maybe you know it's it, And maybe you thought that it was impossible for this to ever work out. But what you may be finding is that it is not so impo impossible to work things out. It's just about, you know, healing and doing things differently. Putting the effort in for sure. Look, here's Justice. The Hierophant. Wow, okay. And the Three of Wands, working on things, seeing where they go. Um, and it feels like working on things from a more honest place, <laughs> you know? So, well, all right then, Sag, that's what I have for you. That's the love. Toodles.